Welcome back to Saltwater Addicts. Today we're going to wrap this Mary Fisher 580. We've done the other side, but we thought we well, may as well do a how to and show you all the steps involved, cleaning process, and yeah, how to put the wrap on. Let's go. First thing you're going to want microfiber cloth and some isopropyl alcohol, easily available off Amazon. Give it a little wipe down. Make sure it's all clean and dust free. After cleaning it, we've just unrolled the vinyl graphic, masking taped it in place on the boat and just tweaking the position before we remove the backing. The main area that we're trying to line up here is obviously the saltwater addicts tech with there's like a we've got like a 10 mil step in the boat so we want to make it so it's nice and parallel with that. Now it's positioned we've removed the complete backing so don't worry about leaving any of it on just remove it all don't stick it to the boat as such but if it does touch the boat it's not going to cause you any issues at this stage because you're going to be pulling it on and off as you go. We went through many different designs, but we settled on this one. This is all designed by uh, Lewis. I'm um, using a proper marine wrap. So at this stage, we're just pulling the wrap away from the boat and stretching it down. We don't want any creases or anything like that, so just keep pulling it. Effectively, try and glass the film out with the contours of the boat as you go. That's like what I mean by glassing it. Yeah. Just gonna keep stretching it. So this is a cast vinyl that's been used. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. So it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. Um, but so far so good. The good thing about this type of vinyl, it doesn't have a, a memory of being in a roll, so it flattens out quite nicely. And it's actually, so far, I've been quite... Yeah, just going around, glassing it out before we try and actually stick it back. I've got an air release to do some on it as well. Very pliable, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to look absolutely amazing when it's done. I know it looks a bit tatty at the moment. We've also got the other side here, and on the roll here, we'll go up all along here. All right, we'll come back to this again in a minute. Okay, so here we are, about two hours in. As you can see, Lewis has uh, sculpted it all on the side of the boat. This final uh, wrap is absolutely fantastic. It's just so pliable and you can really do it again and again and again, um, pull it off. We've just had to literally pull the wrap all the way back from right from the, the nose right all the way back halfway just to get a the lines right and put it back on again. So it's just a case of putting it, put it on, blasting it out, stretching it out, putting it all back on again. And just getting all those little pieces and bubbles out. It's time consuming. Um, so far, I can say that Lewis has pretty much done it by himself. 
um, with a little bit of help from myself here now, so it can be done. But it's uh, it literally is coming on very well. As you can see. Right, back in a bit. Right, we're still at it. Well, I say Lewis is still at it, actually. Um, we're coming towards the, the bow of the boat now. Um, uh, it's actually going on really, really well, as you can see. Just a very slow process. Working it, stretching it. Working it, stretching it. Heat is the key. Not too much, just get it nice and warm, nice and... We're in quite a well-insulated workshop. Put the heat yeah, it's quite warm in here to be fair, it's just to keep everything nice and warm. Now we're trying to step it into this roof, just to fly the heat with the gun, just relax the feel. So now where we can see this. Put the wrap. Just stretch up. Into that. Just like that. Let it cool off. Just watching, you can see how you're manipulating it. Almost that proving out. that anyone can do it. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, well, neither of us are final professional fitters. Um, Forgiven it is. Probably just put a little bit of heat on there. Yeah, there's a little bit of heat on there. Just to try. 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 All by themselves. Most boats don't have this ridge. It's not made it impossible, though, is it? Oh, no, absolutely not. We thought this was actually going to be one of the areas that's going to cause the most problems but in fact it's actually caused no more at all. Um, as I said earlier in the video this is a, a cast vinyl uh, it doesn't lose shape and it is so easy to work with literally if you're, if you're thinking of wrapping a boat um, we'll be putting the link yeah we'll put a link to where we got it from and uh, this, you can do it yourselves we are quite lucky we have a, a unit here for, for to put the boat in, but you can easily quite do this on a warm day outside. Might have stretched out a little bit. You're just trying to glass it out before you actually go near it with a squeegee. We did think about doing a time lapse on this video, but because of the intricacy of how it's done and the, the stop and the start and then really having to pull it back and push it through, the, a time lapse wouldn't have uh, shown how easy it is to fix, or it wouldn't have shown quite well enough of how to manipulate it and uh, touch it. I still can't believe how like manoeuvrable it is. Yes. Well, considering this, this has actually been pulled off the boat four or five times and reapplied, um, it's as still as tacky and sticky as ever. As you can see, I've tried not to do too many short snaps, so you can actually see that, that how well in the three minutes that this video, stretcher video, has gone, and how well that's gone on. Where we've got the bilge outlet, we've just applied some heat. Just get that in there before we give it a, a nice relief cut.
Okay, here we are, day two on the, the boat wrap. Um, as you can see, Lewis has finished off the bottom part, smoothed it all out, he's all cut it all, um, cut it all in. And that's just a case of uh, running a sharp blade all the way down the bottom through it, cutting it all out. So this, this is the top part of the wrap which is going in. This is exactly the same process as the rest of the wrap. And this is just above the, uh, the bump strip that runs through here, where well, the bump strip will sit over this join here nicely. So there we go. got a huge amount of stretch in it and it will stretch all the ways obviously you've got to be, still be very careful because uh, overheating it can tear it or make it overstretch so there's a bit of patience a little bit a little bit at a time so far we've had no rips or tears or anything like that which we've been very lucky with but that's just due down to just taking the time and heat and heat <laughs> We're going to go back and help Lewis now for a bit. I'll come back again in a bit. All right, so we skipped forward a little bit. We wrap around the bow. And what we've done, we took this wrap from the other side past a couple of inches. And this wrap's gone past a couple of inches. Because then any water coming straight on, it's not going to get in behind and tear the wrap. But so far, that's where we're at. We'll go around in a minute and trim it in and tuck the edges. We'll show you as we do that. Okay, so we've scored our bottom edge. We're just going to carefully peel that away now. This edge we need to be edge sealed. We're going to use a clear 2k lacquer just to make sure no water can get behind. Then we're going to bring the anti foul up and probably over the wrap about an inch just to give it another layer. But as you can see, it's coming on. Right, what's left to do now is we need to edge seal this seam so no water can get up underneath. We are then going to take the anti foul up and over it. I'll show you the other side that we've already edge sealed there you can see that's tidied that right up and now there's no nothing there so what we will do now is mask up again anti foul prime and then go back over it with the anti foul but we are getting there you're never going to get the two to line up exactly not unless you had a flat boat but I think that's pretty good to be honest. This is the product we're using to edge seal it. Just a cheapo paintbrush as well. But you could use a lacquer, anything really, just something to stop the water getting under there. All right, and we're finished. Everything's all edge sealed now. I'll flip the camera and I'll show you. Around it. Done this all ourselves as well. All set for a shark fishing trip tomorrow.